Hello world, this is Chatty Daddy One, and I am ex anonymous, anonymous no more. You may ask why I act a fool like I do. It seems to me that people gain a lot of attention with a pencil mustache and a small goatee. Well, really, I'm doing this in kind of all fun, and uh, I just want to <clears throat> make this video and continue a few of the things that I was discussing with you um, on my other video. Oh, and people seem to take, <laughs> they seem to pay attention to a guy in a suit, you know, suit, tie, the whole nine. How you like it? Now do a little bit of modeling for y'all. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, about some of the videos that I've posted, um, I appreciate all the positive comments that people have given me. And I'm disturbed at some of the negative comments that I've received too. There's a lot of anger out there. Maybe a little bit of jealousy mixed in there with things. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. Um, but uh, it just seems to be that way. A little bit of things mixed in. Anyhow, we're... Uh, in a time and age where our kids are being taught things in school that are not right. My son came home the other day from school and tried to convince me on how much better communism is than capitalism in, in the system that we live in. Okay. Um, I said, you know, son, in a perfect world where there was no greed with the main man, Jesus Christ, if he was in control, then it, then it would work. But with the clowns that we got in there now, it ain't never going to work. Neither is socialism or any of that kind of crap. And... It's just not going to happen. There's too much greed. There's too much repression of the poor. There's too much of... I don't want him to get what I have. Or to... Become... More prosperous than I am myself. There's too much of that. And uh, that needs to stop as well. Um, but it's not going to work. Capitalism has uh, worked very well so far for a lot of people, for our nation, for this world. Um, it's not your fault. It's not my fault that we have poor people out there. That there are those who have been born into countries where they don't have as good a chance as we do. And I am all for, hey, let's go and help them out. But let's not, let's not give them the fish. Let's teach them how to fish so that they can catch for themselves. That's the principles that the scriptures teaches us, that the Lord taught us. And, uh, you know, I know I'm going to get some bad comments on my videos. Uh, it's no big deal. But, uh, guys, just like I said, 
we're not going to build this nation up or each other up by tearing each other down. You can never pick somebody up by pulling them down. Never build somebody up by tearing them down. Um, if you tell somebody they're sorry and no good and that they're a piece of trash, then guess what? Nine times out of ten, they're going to become a piece of trash. They're going to be, you know, they're going to play out that role. And uh, that's one of the things that I have that it just, just bugs me to no end that we'll send somebody to prison for uh, possession of a marijuana joint or an ounce of weed or something like that. But the, the pedophiles and those making kitty porn and stuff like that will get probation. And what's wrong with this picture? You know? Um, and alcohol. Alcohol is one of the most destructive things that uh, I've ever encountered. Um, I know that other drugs can be bad too. But alcohol is legal. It's pushed in our face. Its advertisements are everywhere. Every kid ends up trying alcohol. And it's a very, very risky thing. Because if they get a hold of a bottle of Everclear or 151, game over. Especially if they drink half the bottle. I've, uh, <clears throat> I've seen several instances where, uh, People have come down with alcohol poisoning, and their buddies just let them. The people they was with just let them, let them, let them lay for two to three days. One girl, um, I heard about, the guy took her on a date, and he left her in her car, and she stayed there for two days, and could have died. If it would have been the summertime, the heat would have killed her. But thank goodness it wasn't. Anyhow, back on the other subject that is um, just makes my blood boil. I mean, literally. Look, I even got a little thing on my eye here. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> that was from seeing one of these uh, commercials. <laughs> Um, our children don't need to look at us as less than they are. They don't need to be exposed to television programs where the parents are the unknowledge, they don't know what they're doing, they're, you know, pretty much a joke, a big joke. I mean, it started with uh, the one movie, uh, the one show, um, well, uh, you know, um, well, I don't know if I can say the name of the show, but Hitched, we'll call it Hitched with Children. Okay, that was the first one to claw at the family, to try to pull it down, tear it down. Then comes um, um, Rosie Ann, let's call it. <laughs> uh, that was another one that uh but it, in in all reality that was the more realistic in life than a lot of the other ones but i mean these are far from the andy griffith show these other shows that don't make dad or mom look like retards um 
one of the shows that just turns me up right now. Um, I don't know if that turned this thing off or not. One of the shows that burns me up right now is the show, uh, let's call it um, Mom and Dad Hood. You know, parents. Instead of Robin Hood, it's Hood. Um, you get my drift? Um, <clears throat> what dysfunctional families we see on TV nowadays? And uh, the supposed reality shows, they're not reality, they're scripted. They are scripted like you wouldn't believe. There's no way that people get in some of these situations. Some maybe, yeah, but I can guarantee you the director says, "Okay, we want a, we want a, we want an argument here. Let's let's create some friction so that we can get some ratings here." Um, the news doesn't cover things anymore like it should. Our news media was put in place to keep the powers at B in check. They have no longer held up to their deal. I have also noticed that talk radio is becoming quite um, biased at certain things. Certain things that their uh, people will say, no, you can't run that, uh, or yeah, let's run this show. Um, for example, all the uh, the TSA checkpoints, the whole thing there has been nationwide. It hasn't just been in Tennessee or down here in Tampa, Florida. It's been all around the nation, and it's been going on for more than one year. It's been going on for years. You don't see the thing with the gun runners of uh, Mr. Holder and his band of 40 thieves. You don't see a lot of that. You don't see any coverage hardly of Ron Paul, which is, uh, in my book, he's one of the best candidates. He's the man, as far as I'm concerned. He's the man. Or, I mean, but, but that's not going to happen, okay? They're going to make sure to pick somebody that will not get elected and Obama's going to serve a next term. Um, for instance, they'll probably end up picking Mitt Romney and because Mitt Romney is a Mormon, people aren't going to vote for him. I mean, and what does that say about our country? What a bunch of bigots we are. What a bunch of bull crap that is. I've heard people call in and say they'd rather a Muslim be in the White House than a Mormon. And I, I, I know Mormons, and they believe in Jesus Christ. They're Christians. They're good people. There's nothing wrong with them. I know personally. Um... But guys, this whole Occupy Wall Street thing is uh, way out of control. I told you what was going to happen down there with uh, Gaddafi. They killed him. Now we have um, Sharia law creeping in, and it's going to spread. It's going to spread like wildfire. And... You know, look at my video on immigration. Islam is moving fast and furious. There's a lot of things that uh, is coming. But, um, y'all be careful of this anonymous and this whole thing. It's backed by George Soros and, um, people with a lot of money, a lot of power, that just want new world order, one world government. Anyway, love y'all. Hope y'all everybody's safe. This is Chatty Daddy One. Over and out.